Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In previous video, we have created a JPA entity, Spring Data JPA repository, and a resource not found custom exception. In this video, we will create Get All Employees REST API. Okay, so we are going to build Get All Employees REST API. We'll go to controller package right click on controller package new and then choose java class and let's give class name as employee controller let's annotate this class with at rest controller annotation and at rest controller annotation internally annotated with at controller and at response body annotation so once we add this annotation that is a rest controller annotation to this class this class becomes Spring MVC REST controller and capable to handle the HTTP requests. And all the REST API that we are going to build that we will define within this class. Okay, so now go ahead and auto wire employee repository, private employee repository, and employee repository. Great, now let's create a method public with return a list of employees so give list of type employee let's give method name as get all employees okay and we don't have to pass any argument to this method so this method simply returns list of employees so we need to fetch a list of employees from the database for that we're going to use employee repository dot find all method so look at here find all method returns a list of objects in our case list of employees all right now let's annotate this method with at get mapping annotation okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna define a common base URL for this rest APIs for that we're gonna use at request mapping annotation here and here give a base URL for all these rest APIs that is API slash v1 slash employees okay great now this API will return a list of employees to the client okay great now before uh, you know testing this rest API what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert few records to the database so that whenever we test this rest API this rest API will return uh, those records from the database so go to main entry point class and here just implement command line runner interface this will provide a run method and this run method basically executes whenever our spring boot application starts first time okay before writing any code within a run method first we're gonna to wire the employee repository perfect now within a main method create object of employee and just set value to the employee employee dot set first name let's say Ramesh employee dot set last name Fadtari and employee dot set email id Ramesh at the rate gmail.com and we're gonna call employee repository dot save method to save this employee object to the database similarly let me copy this code and let me i know insert one more record copy this paste it here and just rename the object employee one employee one okay and just change the values let's say john Sina and email as Sina at the red gmail.com. Okay, great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run our Spring Boot application and we'll test get all employees REST API. So, go to main entry point class again, and from here we can run our Spring Boot application. Great. 
Well, our Spring Boot application is up and running in embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Let's head over to Postman client. So I'm in a Postman client. I will create a new request over here and choose HTTP GET method and type HTTP colon localhost localhost colon 8080 slash API slash v1 slash employees and go ahead and click on send button and there we go HTTP return a list of employee objects okay we have successfully got a response of the REST API as a list of employees. It means that we have created get all employees REST API successfully. Okay, great. In next video, what we'll do, we'll create a React application and we'll consume this REST API. Okay, great. I will see you guys in next video.